Now it's not my invention trick whatsoever. I think you all know this. Stiff tool. Let's see here. I think that will be good enough. And of course you can use flat no soft tool, but you know what? It won't give you the dimension you need, okay? Um But you're not supposed to use so much, it's going to overwhelm your flower either, right? So, I'm just roughly cutting shapes here. Okay, it's not even square. Imagine that. But it doesn't matter. Fold it once, fold it twice, and you got this, right? And then you're gonna glue that. And you can have them poking out, or you cannot have them poking out, but you need to have them to the edge. If not, it will start going inwards. So that's not gonna be good. Trust me. So, and it doesn't really matter if they're not, you know, 100% at all. And you can do this earlier in in the stage of making the flower as well. So. There is so many different qualities of lace, so how each flower is gonna turn out up front. You can't tell that before you have actually made one and coping it to the exact with the same types of lace. So, because there are so many factors, so many different ones in here. Okay. We need some more. Right. So if you use a um, softer one like this one, which is super soft, you need to have many layers. But we can do one of those two, so no problem. This particular flower is more about the. Um, it's it has a lot to do with the edge of the lace, you know, like the outer part of the lace because that's what's showing. So. And I don't think. Uh, big tutorial on how to fold these squares. Well, they're not hardly squares, are they? <laughs> so, okay, now we're getting there. See, something happened here. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna check here how this is gonna work out now. Just tweaking. Okay, actually I need one layer in between, imagine that. And the reason I could see that is because it's just too boring between, sort of, and it's just too much of a gap. So I think this one might do the trick now, and this one might 
Yes. Let me check. Mm -hmm. It's perfect. But I'm gonna do something here. First, I'm gonna get rid of the flower in between, in the middle, because I'm not gonna waste that. Okay. Because I feel that will be waste because it will be covered up again. When you do this, make sure you don't pull it so hard that it actually breaks. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to glue it on this one because that will be easier for me compared to trying to glue it on that. Okay. And it will be quicker. there See, that's quite a lot of glue to be mean, right? But it's the last one. So So now see we have a hole here. That ain't good. We will fluff this up later. So I'm just gonna have take some fabrics that doesn't really matter again. I got a kitty here. Oh, Timmy. Okay. <laughs> food, mommy, food. Okay, so there. Supposedly finished, but it's not. All right, guys, let's finish this off. Now, you hear my computer here now. It's actually working on part number one. 
hopefully I will get these up between, during the weekend. I have to do it in between all the kids and husband using. So it's, this one's very dense here compared to here, but that this one is slightly not so much. But you know, see that's that's okay because you know they do come out different. So we have it together here, but now for the tail you can use, of course just finish it off with a plain piece here back it up and you call it done but we're gonna do the tail okay so you see it's different how it's turning out on the bag it's you know it's all about the sequence of everything so okay now for tail you have to use the same colors you as you used in the flower because it won't look right it won't look like one piece if you don't so and also use laces that is thinner now I had it all packed together so neatly when I started filming, but you know the deal, what happens along the way <laughs> doesn't necessarily stay where you put it. So I have these two there, and I have this pretty one. So I'm using The longest ones have to be the most narrowest ones because that elongates the tail. That's one thing, but also it makes it more elegant even though you bulk it up real good, okay? <coughs> and if you take check one one two three or see four is too much that's way too long but three times the height of the flower or the radius of the flower one two three that should be the length of your tail and but I usually do a little less because for me that's more pleasing and when you cut the the ends, always when you assemble it, always have them facing the same direction because it just looks tidier, okay? And then you can use this part up here. So I'm just gonna move this flower all the way up there. So and you have to make sure you have a little piece there so it goes underneath, okay? And then See, I used this one and the flower. I think that's kind of cool to use it again. And then I want to tatter this up even more. So I'm going to take off this edge here. That one is very bulky but it's a good one it is a good one and I have some netting here let's see how long is this piece that's too short 
I don't want to use this one there. So use it. Use something that makes it real fluffy here. And tattered. By all means, tattered. This one I got in Joanne's is one of the things I used a coupon on. <laughs> because it was fairly expensive, actually. But it was nice. You know? I need to go to my own fabric store again. I haven't been there in forever and ever and ever. It's probably a year ago. But it's on the other side of town. I don't drive a car. Scrubby does. And I don't know if, you, if you've seen that joke on, on Facebook. It's the skeleton sitting outside waiting for a wife to come out from the scrap shop. <laughs> that will be me in the fabric store <laughs> and scrubby outside in the car <laughs> come out to a skeleton but then again in under well the 4th of um, September it will actually be Skype travelog airing from Norway for a change because Ella is coming to visit and there's a big crop here and we're gonna go on Finna bar classes both of us and she's gonna go on some other classes too so I'm gonna take her around town of course and of course I will bring you guys along so you can see my part of the world and you're in on the fun. If it is smaller at one point and wider, just make sure you have the widest part at the top. Then it's all good. See, we cut off this part, we can use that too. So, <clears throat> I want to have one of these in the back. Where is my glue gun? There it is. <laughs> And I'm gonna choose something to work on here. I'm just gonna... No, I can't use that. That's too nice. Just too nice. So, I'm just actually gonna glue this one. There. S stick it down. Put a glob of glue. I don't usually do globs of glue, but there I do. So I'm and I'm angling them a little bit out from the center because um, it makes it fuller. Okay. got that one it's the darker tone and here we have this is crisp white so hang on no oh. oh, stinker crisp white and then I want to do that one there and 
then this one there. It helps to build it up by putting down like that. <coughs> and now we cut this one partly, right? So I'm gonna use up this. Um, cutting out of frame, but okay. It's cutting. Not very interesting. There. And when I cut things, I tend to just run my nails like that because it makes it all more tattered and you can't kind of see that it's cut as good that's way too long obviously so because this one here is the measurements of how long it's gonna be so i'm gonna cut this one off there off there and then that one's too long so i will cut off and put down up there again and then that one and I think actually <coughs> let's see here I think I might need to have more thin ones because the finest one which is obviously is this one I want that one to go on the top Pull it out, shake it, Put it down again so you can see how you're going. And compared to the flower, it is not good enough, right? So, we're gonna grab some more laces. All right, I cut a piece that's wider, so I'm gonna lift it up and turn it on the other side and glue that to the back of this section. This one here can be shorter and be more up here again. Okay. Then I got one of these. I'm going to go in back here. Uh, yeah. This will give it a little bit more subs substance. And then I got one piece more of this one. And making sure they're all facing the same way, more or less. So that and I got this piece here. I need to hold it up. I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing right then, but I'm just straightening it. So 
and this is the piece I measured to be the longest and now I have pieces that's longer than that so this one I will go up there because I can take it back there this one here is not much to go on but there And I'm kind of combing to it like it's hair or so, sort of with my fingers. See, it's getting very dainty and nice looking. So that one, I think. And I will cut it shorter because it's longer and f further up in the tail to the top. You get it gets shorter. Okay, that's how you build it up. So make sure you keep keep cutting things on different lengths so it doesn't look too constructed or too rigid sure I got the right side I think it's good down here so there and I want another piece of it And I'm gonna sneak that in between some layers here so you can go back in and add in or snip out if you like okay let's see how I'm doing now And you know what? I think it will be good with another piece of this in the back. So, there. And then it's more suitable to the size of the flower. Now I'm gonna secure this better because that was a double layer. And then I'm looking at the flower to see because even though you're very peculiar about making sure it's not loop sided, it always has some kind of an up and down side. And if the center kind of droops slightly to one side I always tilt the flowers so it points upwards and this is the right way I feel but then also there can be something sticking out more depending on what kind of flower it is so this one I will do it like that if I were looking at this one I see that this one does say it's shorter it's not so full on this side as this side so then I will actually hang it so the uh, side that's longer out here will go downwards okay so and 
then I'm gluing it down make sure you have it secure properly okay. now this might seem excessive for you but this is what I do and I need one more thing because to make it like a decorative flower you can put everywhere all right so I'm gonna grab some ribbon all right I got some fancy ribbon here all right so I'm taking the ribbon and let's see here there down there and up again there see what I did I went up in the middle down and then up again so and then you need like about three quarters of a yard on each side okay Approximately on each side of the center. So I went up here, down there. Oh, save is done. Ooh. and up there okay just make sure you have the same length on each side more or less Make sure that this one is not crooked like that. You want it to be like this, okay? Let's see if I can go away. Like so. Straight down from the horizontal with the tail. Now you need to use a lot of glue, okay? And if you actually try to sew this, I will warn you, it's going to take you at least five hours, minimum five hours, five hours to do this, if you do it the right way, you do it properly. So. And even this tutorial must be the longest tutorial ever given a one singular item. <laughs> but... important to do it properly and tell why I did this and did that and so on now you can see I have glue showing there okay you know me I don't like things like that right giving it a little extra but I was quick <laughs> glued it on quick see just make it pretty so there now you can tie this around huge candlesticks on chandeliers on your purse and of course you do like this so you make it all fluffy and now we have a choice to keep this 
or to put a flower center on it, okay? Mm, let's see here. The flower center will sit more on the top. But if I can find my pliers, which my husband used last night, I can get them. Thing is off inside here. These kind of metals are very soft, so I have no idea what kind of metals. They say zinc alloy. In descriptions and so on but I have no idea see one okay didn't mean to do that but okay I'll fix that See, there's one missing. Oh, ding, ding. Isn't that just typical? Well, I can use this one. I'll fix that one later on then. So typical. And I'll take the brooch off. Now I will glue this on. Don't need to do it if you don't want to. Instead of this, you can use a big pearl big big pearl then you need to make sure you have enough space to put this one down okay but I kind of like that the bling is showing properly okay I don't want the bling to be half hidden when I use bling pieces like this so and yes use E6000 instead. This I do for the tutorial. So, and as you see, how important it is. This won't work with this flower, it will work with the other one. So, okay, so I'm gonna clean this up. Now what? I got an idea. I got one idea and I think it's gonna be very nice. Let's see here. Nice way to make your own flower centers too. It takes a lot of glue though. What are you doing? Oh my god! Easy girl. This is actually small because it costs less than the big plane. Okay. Micro beads. If I made a fool of myself, I don't think. <gasps> that is so cool. That cool. Can you see that? Guys, I'm done. Survived. I don't know how long I used. That was hours, I think. But 
I hope you will find it find it worth um you didn't skip anything? You've been a good that's for sure. Um so, there. We made a flower together. A pretty one. So <laughs> so I hope you liked it and I know I really some lily flowers out there. <laughs> I finally did it. <laughs> so, um uh, I hope you will have a sing thing with your lights and remember the inner your scraps because you didn't need big you know. So uh, Ooh, there you go. I hope you and enjoyed it so much for watching. And I don't know what more to say. Click like. Okay. Bye bye.